Hello to everyone at Emmanuel Church London. It is so good to be connecting with you dear friends who are missing so much during this strange time. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to, to greet you and to open the Bible briefly with you. Um, during these days when people's bookshelves are under increasingly severe political scrutiny, um, I am a little bit uh, ashamed to say that you're only seeing one shelf full behind me. The others are uh, conspicuously empty. Um, and that would not show it, but for the fact that your guys have insisted that this is a portrait frame that I have to do this video and I can't do it in a landscape one which would only show the one shelf but I'm exposed uh, to my, my my shallow shelves this isn't my room this is a spare room that I'm just moving into while COVID is happening you know that's why there's only a few books up there um, but in spite of my lack of scholarship I will open up one psalm to you and that is psalm one um, I, I love going through the psalms with with churches and, and uh, uh, with the Brighton church I've been going through a few of them recently but I think I'll make one quick observation about the first psalm uh, just to send you on your day, uh, hopefully encourage you. When you read the psalms, when you read the first psalm, depending on what translation you have, you, you could end up with what I think could be quite discouraging or at least um, a, a foreboding kind of feel, tone, or a an encouraging one. So So many translations, perhaps most, put it in terms of uh, blessed are those who uh, do not walk in the counsel of the ungodly. Blessed are, the, are those people who do X, Y, and Z and don't do these other things. That's actually not uh, the, the, the way the psalm is written in its original language. Uh, and it's an important distinction because the psalmist isn't trying to make the point that there's a, a, a certain kind of bar that you have to jump uh, if you are going to succeed spiritually and morally and uh, if only you you manage it you know try harder today and you yourself you might be amongst those about her whom it can be said let's just find the exact wording i should have got this ready long before i started this very short video uh, if you work really hard you might be one of those who uh, are like trees planted by streams of water uh, that yield fruit in due season if only you would be like that then you would you would be a fruitful prospering blessed person you would be blessed blessed are those who keep the rules and work hard not that encouraging in reality especially for people like me that are always failing when it comes to spiritual and moral success the good news is good. It's really good news because the psalm doesn't actually r stand like that in the original language. It is not blessed are those who do this. It's blessed is the man. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. There is a man who has lived like this perfectly. His name is Jesus. The whole of the Bible is about him, including the Psalms. The Psalms are describing the way in which the perfect, righteous son of Adam, the one who is the second Adam, the one who rights the wrongs of the fallen state of humanity, lives the perfect, fruitful life. And if you're a Christian, you belong to Jesus. You're, you're placed in him. You are a branch abiding in the vine. You are part of this tree already. He's a tree bearing fruit, as it says in Psalm 1 planted by streams of water yielding fruit in season his leaves leaves do not wither and he prospers in all he does that's jesus if you belong to jesus this is your story as well not because you are trying so hard yourself but because you're abiding in jesus the one who's already succeeded the one who already became chaff became a dried up stick on the cross so that he could actually become a tree of life that we could be joined to enjoy abiding in the fruitful vine today remember all that he has already done for you stay steady stay stable confident in his goodness and faithfulness his work on your behalf build your confidence around that good to talk to you bless you guys hopefully get to see you soon and uh, god bless you bye